Today was a day to remember and honor the nearly 3,000 Americans killed in the 9-11 terrorist attacks 23 years ago. People in communities across Maine gathered to mark the anniversary. New Center Maine's Katie Delaney tells us what they say the day means to them. Wednesday morning, music fills Bangor International Airport. Then, silence. For those who perished on that tragic day, Maine troop greeters, airport staff, and onlookers gather together in remembrance. September 11th, 2001, a date that echoed into the dark chambers of memories past, awakened a new generation to the chaos of war on our shores. First responders in Portland, holding a ceremony at the city's 9-11 memorial, which honors seven Mainers killed in the attacks on September 11th. Honoring those lost from the state and remembering the sacrifices made by first responders 23 years ago. Culturally, what's so important to us is uh, the valor that was on display that day. I, I believe that anybody going into that situation that day knew exactly what they were going into and how it was likely going to end, and they still went. Members of Bangor High School's JROTC lower the flag to half staff and provide a 21-gun salute. These students weren't born yet when the September 11th attacks happened, but recognize the day's significance. How important like our past is and like how important that is to the future generations growing up. Like we're going to take this and we're going to learn from it and we're going to remember it together. And I think it's important for our generations to know uh, truly about the history that's happened. Army veteran Dusty Fisher says when the Twin Towers were struck, he was on the phone with his son. And I said to him, our lives will never be the same again. But many recall how Americans came together to rebuild after the attack, encouraging people to carry on that spirit of resilience and unity. Just let us always remember this. Katie Delaney, News Center, Maine. Governor Janet Mills also ordered that flags be lowered to half staff today. She also declared today First Responders Day across the state.